To create your transparencies for your four color screen print, the first thing you need to do is open up your photograph in some sort of editing software. Here I have my photo open in Photoshop. And the next step is to make sure that you're working in CMYK. So I'm going to click on my image and go to mode. And you can see that I'm in RGB. I need to have my photo converted into CMYK. So I'm going to click on that. CMYK, you'll get, once you do that, you'll get a warning that it's going to make alterations to your file. Go ahead and click OK. And once you get to that point, it's always a good idea just to double check to make sure that I made it there. And I am in CMYK. CMYK, I can also check over here next to my layers panel and open up channels. And you can see that CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And those are the colors of the inks that you're going to be using. Those are processed colors. We'll be able to print this full color photograph using just those four colors of ink. The next step we need to do here is to separate these layers. So I'm going to come over here where I have the channels on to the right side where it's CMYK. I'm going to click on this menu drop down and I'm going to click on split channels. After I split the channels, you'll see that it has opened up uh, a number of different documents. So here is my cyan, here is my magenta layer, here is my yellow layer, and here is my black layer. So I'm going to, then there's also a transparency layer that gets created sometimes. I'm just going to close that and I don't want to save that. The next step is I can't print these off and use them on a screen print just yet. I have to make turn these into bitmaps. So that's a really easy thing to do. When you have your files open and your channels are separated, you go up to image again, you go to mode, and you click on bitmap. When that opens up, you'll see that I want my output to be 300 dots, per, or I want my resolution to be at 300 dots per inch, and I want to um, use a halftone screen. There's a number of options there. I want to change it to halftone screen and click OK. Then when I come over to here, um, the frequency is the is the resolution has to do with the resolution and it has to do with how small of dots or how much detail you can get burned into the emulsion on your screen. My screen is working at 250, um, that's my mesh count, lines per inch. And so if I divide that by four, I get 62.5. So I'm going to turn this just to 62 for good measures. Whatever your screen print happens to be. So if you are looking at a screen with 200 thread a mesh count and you divide that by four, then you're going to be looking at a frequency of 50. Minus 60, I want to use round half tones. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to hit click OK. Once I do that, you can see that it has turned this into um, a half tone image that can be burned into the emulsion on your screen. I need to print this out though and what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to print it as a PDF so I'm going to be able to save it and the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to be able to see how it sits on the paper um, and then in um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I also want to make sure that I can print off my registration mark. So I'm going to just hit print on this and then it's going to save to a PDF. I'm going to continue, then I need to name it and you can see that it's already named as black. I'm just going to, for, um, for our sake here, I'm just going to rename it. That's my black. And then once that's all done exporting, then I'm just going to close it and do that to the next one. So I don't need to save it because I just saved it there. Here is the next one. I'm going to do my mode, change it to bitmap. 300 half tone is where I want. That is my mesh count right there. And 45 degrees and round. Do that. Now I can go and save it. Go down to print. As a PDF, I have my registration marks and then I'm going to print and that will save it 
as a PDF. You'll see here in a moment. And this was my yellow. This will help me find it easier. Once that gets exported, then I can close it. And I'm not going to save. I'm going to do that with the rest of these here too. Here you can see the the layers now. That is my cyan layer, and I have all these registration marks. Will help me um, register all of the colors on top of each other, so that I don't get any offset print. This is what the magenta looks like. So all of those dark colors is where the magenta is going to print. All of these, all the dark areas is where all the yellow is going to print, and on the black, all of those dark areas is where the black is going to print on top. Now I'm ready to print those off onto transparencies and go to burn them on my screen.